So the last race of the day is race 24. It's not a great two. So it's the Pet Fair Handicap Chase over two and a half miles. Creek in Peking for David Lanner's top weight. Fountain Springs for Darren Thompson, Blackmore Instrument for Martin Leadham, Shirataki Stay for Paul O'Neill, Moreland Overseer for David Ladd, Quarters Ovo for Vinnie Gerard, Powder Gamba for Hems, All Looks Good for Joshua Southern, Dunright Then for Darren Thompson, Linford Skipper for Pontypool Racing, David I Won the Hunter last week, Copperville for Martin Leadham, Taylor Slay for Alex Cherry, Early Birth for Daniel French, Homer Rault for Alex Cherry, Ajad Ships for Paul O'Neill, and Castletown Boy for Ryan Costello. They're away over two and a half miles, the last race of the day. The rain's starting to come down. The abrollies are up. Time to go home. So we're going to wait for this lot to settle down. And it's a Linford Skitler. That's going to lead us into the first of 15. Pontypool race him. Let's see if he gets over it. He does. As does the remainder. Although a very slow jump at the rear by Blackmore Instrument and the Orange Silks. Skipper from Corder's Oboe. Go to the second. We'll jump at the river this time by Castle Town Boy. But Linford Skipper's going to lead us from Corder's Oboe, Fountain Springs, and Moorland Overseer together. And we've got Creek and Peak King. Back to the third. And we'll go to that for jump at the rear again by Castle Town Boy. He's going to stay on his feet. Still a few of them going sort of centre course here as they get to the fourth. All still standing though. It's to 140 handicap this. And it's Linford Skittler that leads us. And quarters Obo Creek in Peak in Moreland Overseer. Ajad ships up against the fence alongside Fountain Springs. We'll skip over the wall up. Ajad ships is a little bit pecked on landing. In between those is David Copperfield, a winner of a, a Hunter Chase last week. He has to go back up into a real race before he can drop back down again and. Uh, Sneaker Hunter Chase, but who knows? And then we've got Taylor's Lath in there, all that's good for Josh Sutherland. Ryan Silks of Blackmore Instruments moved up a little bit. Homer Rault, Powder Gamble on his outside. And sure, Taki Stay and Dunlight then as they make the six. We skipped over that as well. And Castle Town Boys just getting a little bit uh, disconnected. And still being led by Linford Skittler. There are small. We lost one there. Powder Gamba's gone for Hems. Lucky. I think he thought he had a chance in this race. It might have done if it stayed on his feet. So unlucky there, mate. We go to the eighth. Poor jump towards the fence by Ajad Ships. We just saw his jumping out. But it's still Linford Skittler that still leads us. Well over a mile to travel. We go to the ninth. A little bit slower than that. The rest of them jumped a little bit better, including early Bird Creek and Peking and Fountain Springs. And quarters over up against the fence. The purple suits of David Copperfield. Wider still is more than overseer. They go to the tenth. They're all still on their feet here by the one. And they've jumped quite well. And put Skittler's leads down to just a length now from early bird. Quarters over up against the fence. Fountain Springs on his outside. Then we've got David Robinson's Creek and Peking and Moreland Overseer. Followed through by David Copperfield. Our judge ships up against the fence still. And all looks good. Blackmore Instrument. Homer will for Alex Jerry. And Shirataki stay for Paul O'Neill. Length back to Taylor's the eighth. And then Dunright then right at the rear. And up front they're all joining Linford Skittler now. It's Fountain Springs. Alongside we lost another one there. Homer rault has gone. It was a fall up. Unlucky. So as they swing left-handed now, the long old straight here, it's Moreland Overseer that's nosed in front with uh, full Fountain Springs on the inside, early bird still there as they start to head for home, Linford Skipper starting to give way to everything. And we've got Corder Zobo, David Copperfield trying to run on out while his Arjard ships now moved off the fence, but it's early bird that leads us. Just by a length from Corder's Obo in between Horses Creek in Peking on the wide up against the fences Fountain Springs. They go over the big ditch and we've lost another one there. Corder's Obo went as well as David Copperfield unlucky so it's early bird that leads us. Inside the two and a half early bird from Creek in Peking up against the fences Fountain Springs running out of the pack now. Shirataki stay wider still is Dunlight Lend but it's early bird that's just got a nose inside the quarter. 
Early bird from Creaking Peaking on the inside is Fountain Springs. Outside is Dunlight Lend. Early bird and Creaking Peaking go over the 15th to get early birds a little bit better. But it's early bird from Fountain Springs and Creaking Peaking. Dunlight Lend trying to run on. We're inside the final mile. Furlong now and it's early bird from Creaking Peaking. Fountain Springs on the inside. Early bird is he going to hang on here as Creaking Peaking tries to get up. It's Creaking Peaking. Creaking Peaking and early bird. Creaking Peaking and early bird go across the line together. I think Freaky Dickin might just have got a nose on that one. He also lost Castletown for it in the last couple of fences. Freaky Dickin's got that. So three out of the four races here at Newbury has been taken by David Robertson. He finishes the day with another winner. And it is by Shorthead. From Daniel French's early bird in second, third was done like them for Darren Thompson, along with Fountain Springs, it was fourth, and fifth was, I think, Moreland Overseer, also for David Robertson. So well done there, Mr. Robertson. You've had a crack and finished a day two. Uh, we'll see you all for day three tomorrow.